I have to take control of my frigging hat because it takes part of... Oh my god, why have I suddenly gone a bit peculiar? That's you are you. peculiar. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my hat on back to gone peculiar. You were bloody born that way. <laughs> hey, we had no thought. What's going on? We had no thought chucking that thing. Yeah. Then we couldn't get out with the bugger. <laughs> <laughs> no, I then we couldn't get out. What's going on? I was playing in here. Just waiting for the key. Ah, yeah. Just waiting for the key. We didn't know it was locked. Just waiting for the key, then we're going up them stairs. Yeah, Janice. Hi, not Here comes Keymaster. Here's Keymaster. <laughs> <coughs> Could have took someone up there with you, Daz. Could have given someone a fireman's lift. <laughs> Could have given a few of them a fireman's lift. <laughs> right. Come on, people. We do have a few witches with us tonight. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? And a warlock. And a warlock. Go on, Janice. Yeah, we've had uh, some good experiences tonight. Uh, we've got the train there in front of us. Had a lot of people in trance, uh, a lot of information coming back, uh, confirming the year that we've been picking up in them two areas over there was 1923. Uh, we've had some amazing captures on film, uh, on uh, camera already. Uh, two gentlemen, one called Arthur, one called James, a father and a son in the mine, uh, but obviously worked in the engineering shop as well. Now we're just going into the uh, en like the engine room and all that. So, and then what we're going to do is just going to get one gentleman to give you a little bit of feedback on the experience as well uh, from uh, a, a gentleman called Jack who worked in that area over there straight ahead with all the four lights on all right so we're in the engine running room now it's very steep stairs and i'll show you the quick inside when we get in the year and the time was 1923. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Just coming up to Craig now. Are you all right on film, Craig? Yeah. Can you give us a bit of your experience tonight? Yeah. In trance with Jack. Strange. It's I can't explain it, but it's a weird sensation. You feel like I got the cold sweat come over me. Gradually comes over you, but then it stays with you. How do you define the era that you was in? Could you see the times? Could you see your? Very strange. Could you see that the, the gentleman that was your sidekick that worked around you, the seventeen-year-old? Slightly could see him. Yeah. But uh, yeah, the, the whole area looked so different compared to what it is like and, now. And you was back in the time, visually seeing what it was yeah. like in 1923. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Very Excellent. It's a nice experience. To be able to go back to see that. At, Oh, <laughs> I think we've gone dark there, folks. Yeah, uh, who turned the lights off? He did. He did. Turn them on, Daz, for a second, <laughs> mate. Just going to show the people on the live stream. Hey? Eh? Right, I think the fuse has just gone on the lights. Yeah, yeah, it's Isolation right, switch, I ain't touching no isolation <laughs> switch. Uh, yeah, I like a few lights coming back on. I'm going to just show you a little bit of the equipment and we're going to get... I think that is the, like the flywheel there that's in front of me. So that would have had the big massive... That weird, that's gone off in my pocket, that triggered object. 
trigger off it when I can be pocket. Yeah. That's quite a cloak, that's Take those, yeah. That's the flywheel, the pulley yeah. for the mine to take, send it down to the mine shaft. Some of the equipment. I'm going to come off here now and start doing a talk. So, where am I? I'm in uh, Ash Ashley Green Colliery in Wigan. And that, that would have been the old hoist for the equipment if it needs any repairs. Cables would have gone through there at the back for the, the mine shaft behind there. So I'll see you later, folks.